good morning. <laughs> good morning, YouTube. <laughs> it's pretty early. It is Memorial Day. And I am heading out this morning to um, just get some time with the Lord. I have got my Bible. I got my journal. And I got a pen. And that is all that you need to meditate on God's word and to hear him and write down what he teaches you. So, uh, I'm about to get started. I'm heading to, I think I've told y'all my favorite coffee shop. And it's probably my favorite because of their donuts, but it's called North Lime. Um, it's here in Louisville. And there is also a location in locations in Lexington. I think Louisville has two. And there are a couple locations in Lexington anyway. I'm headed there. My family's all nestled in their beds. And I was like, I'm going to get out early because I'm an early riser. And I'm just going to go get some time to myself. Get some coffee and my favorite donuts so and get with the lord and i'm so excited y'all like coffee shops with a good treat the word that's like my love language so come with me bye i also wanted to tell you guys a little something that me and my husband kind of live by we were taught years ago, years ago by some mentors that we adore. We were taught about um, these things called pathways to God. Pathways to God. So there's different pathways that will help you to feel closest to the Lord. And if I can remember all of them, I hope that I can, I'll share them with you guys. So there's... Uh, all right, I'll just start with mine. It's the first one, and this is mine, is um, the pathway of being alone, like just being alone with the Lord, no other people, the stillness, the quiet, just alone. That's mine, um, which I thought was so neat that God did that because typically I am a I was anyway I was an extrovert I loved people and I always wanted to be around people um but as I got closer to God I realized that like my closest times with him my greatest experiences with him would be when I am alone so that is mine second one that I learned is community so you feel closest to God when you're with other believers, like church or um, like a small group, Bible studies, stuff like that. Um, or even you just hanging out with some sisters in Christ. I'm really sorry, y'all. I think I still got like crusties on my face. So I'm really sorry. One day I'm going to do a video where I like, I think I did one actually, <laughs> where I like put makeup on and stuff. But I'm not a big makeup person, and I honestly think that's part of the reason that um, I have pretty nice skin, you know. Um, but anywho, um, yeah, so there's people. There's the one for people. Then there are the ones like um, education, like learning scholarly, like academics, like when you're doing that type of stuff, like exercising your brain you feel close to the Lord, like learning deep theological truths and like studying and researching God, like you feel close to him. There are people like that. I have some people I think of that that is probably them. <laughs> but I 
right, so then there are nature. People who, when they are out, give them a mountain, give them the ocean, give them a forest, give them green pastures, and they hear the Lord. I think that there are those people. There are, uh, there's competition, people who um, like sports and like competing, and it's like those types of environments, they feel close to God. There's that, there's, I'm trying to think of the one more. I'm not thinking of another one, but there probably are more. I don't even know if the list is quite exhaustive really, like, I don't know. Some people might feel closest to God when they're like in their car, you know? Uh, sorry, y'all, I'm trying to, but. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And so that's kind of one of the reasons that I'd be so hyped to get out and, uh, or just to get to my living room or my back porch or whatever to get time with the Lord is because like that is how I hear him. That is how I feel closest to him. And so I like yearn for that time. So, um, yeah, so take you guys to North Line with me. <laughs> Alright. So, got my donut. <laughs> got my coffee. <clears throat> mm. I love, one of the things I love about this donut shop is that they, <sighs> they be having, um, like, different flavors weekly. So they, um, they, like, have new flavors every week. So it's really fun. I typically get, like, the newest thing that they got going on. Um, and so it's just fun never know what you're gonna get and then my drink it's almost gone now look at that cute little logo let's see if i can focus it so y'all can see i'm still learning videography stuff but oh hopefully you guys can see there we go ah i saw it for a minute where'd it go it had focused it was the sweet spot lost it oh well it's an owl. It's an owl. <laughs> oh, okay. I just need to bring my face a little closer. So there's an owl. There's North Lime coffee and donuts. Okay. So I decided to read through Job. I'm sorry. Jude. <laughs> Would not have been able to read through Job in an hour. No, it would have taken me more time than that. Um, but I read Jude. And I think I'm going to study Jude this summer. Typically in the summer, I choose a book of the Bible or a Bible study to study. And a lot of times I use, um, I do it with friends. But I decided this summer, I think I'm going to do it alone. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see. <laughs> Um, cause that, like I told you all, that's typically how I hear the Lord best and feel closest to the Lord is alone, but God may tell me he wants me to do it with someone. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm studying Jude and how I typically go into a Bible study is like, I, I, I read the section I'm going to study. I read it through and then I go back and I kind of look at what stuck out to me and then I go a little bit more in depth about that passage because Jude is so short I just read the whole book it's literally a page and a half <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can probably show you all I got my bookmark in my Bible it's in the New Testament 
I believe this is the book right before Revelations. Yeah, it's right after John's letters. So there is Jude. It is just a page. I'm pretty sure a page and a half, y'all. Yep. <laughs> so I read the whole thing. I read the whole thing. And then I went back to see what stuck out to me. And that's kind of where I feel God speaking to me. When when I read through a text and then, and something really like sticks out to me, I'm like, okay, God, you're speaking. You know, like, so I go back and I look at that text more in depth and I see like what God is saying to me. And so it's really fun. By the way, before I just get into that, and tell y'all what God showed me this morning. How about these glasses? Okay. I want to recommend them. Shout out to them. They're fun. <laughs> That's it. They're not prescription, y'all. I do not wear prescription glasses. My daughter wears these. And eventually I was like, I don't want to try those on. So I wore hers for a little trip. And I thought that looked really cute. And so I was like, okay, give me a pair. Target, y'all. They're Target. At Target for $12, I believe. $12.99. Um, I've heard tell of Target being canceled. People boycotting Target. Something about some designer they're choosing to represent or sell their clothing. Something about Satanic. I don't know yet how I feel about it. I haven't made a decision. I still shop at Target as of today. <laughs> I don't know part of me doesn't even want to like research it and get into it y'all because I'm just like I love Target I love it so y'all let me know in the comments feel free to let me know if you know more details um you can share them with me and I, I might make a decision <laughs> all right but back to Jude all right, so it really stuck out to me um, was the purpose of why Jude was writing this letter. So Jude, from what I understood, is a brother of Jesus Christ. He says that he is a brother of James. And then when I went to like look back on who James was, James was a brother of Christ. Same mother, different fathers. <laughs> and I think that Jude is also a brother of Christ. I think that he has the same mother as Jesus. Different father. Obviously, because we know who was Jesus' father. God. Joseph was his stepfather. So, <laughs> these kids are sons of Joseph. All right, and so he talks about why he wanted to write this letter. And he says that he wanted to write it about the salvation that he shared with us. That was what he wanted. He was eager to write it and just talk about like, hey, we all share this same salvation. But he found it necessary to write appealing to us to contend for the faith that was delivered to the saints once for all. So that is why he ended up writing it. To appeal to the faith that was delivered to the saints once for all. So he wanted us to appeal to us. He wanted to appeal to us to contend for the faith. So, so automatically I'm like, all right, if this is what sticks out to me, God, what does contend mean? What does it mean to contend? So I Googled it. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I think I learned that through this Bible study that I uh, was a part of BSF, if y'all have heard of it, Bible Study Fellowship. That was one of the things they would have us do often was to Google words and to see like, what does that word mean? You know, literally, what's the definition of it? To contend for something. And so I looked into it. What I found was that it meant to strive or to vie, to contend, or rivalry, 
against difficulties. To struggle. To struggle. Be willing to struggle for what we believe. Oh, what a struggle king. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, yeah, Jude, I know exactly what you are talking about. The struggle. The struggle's real, y'all. And the struggle for our faith is real. So, I am I am excited to dig into this book. I'm excited because it's a short book. So, therefore, I can, like, dig deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, it's harder to dig deep into long books like Job, you know, because you want to get through it. So, you, you know, you can only go so far. But when you pick a small book of the Bible, like Jude, you can dig into Jude. Jude, you can dig. So, I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I was encouraged today to understand, like, a lot of times walking with Christ does feel like a struggle. And sometimes we see that as we're doing something wrong we see that as like oh am i not walking with christ like am i on a different path like but this encouragement from jube actually tells us that like he's encouraging us to struggle for the faith like to contend against difficulties keep walking with God keep remembering that the gospel and I love that he says that it is a gospel of faith that was delivered to the saints once for all who are the saints that Jude is probably talking about I imagine I'm gonna dig deep into this y'all but I imagine he's talking about the disciples I imagine he's talking about Jesus's uh, disciples, the apostles, like they are the ones who received the gospel. They are the ones who received the faith and it never changes. That same gospel that they received is the same gospel that we have. That's pretty remarkable that the gospel of Jesus Christ has never changed. People have tried to come and change it. People have tried to put stipula stipulations on it. But they don't last. But what does last is the faith that was delivered to the saints once for all of us. Once for all of us, y'all. That was really encouraging to me. And you talk about a struggle. <laughs> Those saints struggled, y'all. So I don't know why we think that our walks, the faith that we have, would be a walk in the park. Prosperity gospel. Why do you think you won't have trouble? Why do we think that life will be easy? No. It's actually against difficulties. It's a contending. So, very encouraging to me this morning, you all. It's Memorial Day. I am hoping to go and visit my father's grave. He was a Vietnam veteran. So, hoping to go do that today. My husband's going to barbecue. Kids are going to drink a lot of sugar. And we're just going to have a good, a good time. So... Let me know how you're celebrating this Memorial Day. If you all get to see this on Memorial Day. If you see it after. Let me know what you did. <laughs> Is there a veteran that you wanted to go and pay your respects to? Did you have a good barbecue? Did you eat some good food? Just comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what God is teaching you all 